Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Lins, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com, reporting live from the SIHH 2019. I am at the booth of Ressence with me, Benoit Mintjes. Hello Alexander. Benoit, Welcome. it's a pleasure to have you. Um, I'm uh, a big fan of you, as you know, and I see that you are really busy developing watches and watches and watches, and this is good. How's the business running? Good. Yeah? Very happy. You happy? Yes. Yep. That's, that's the best news. It, that's the best news. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, no, but, <laughs> no, but you're doing exceptional. Benoit is the guy who invented these magic watches with uh, turning discs, and uh, he will tell about the story. But uh, the new one, Benoit, yes. is kind of a little technical miracle because I have it on the wrist. I put it here. Cameraman now will probably go on it. And the new Type 2 mm -hmm. um, yes. is a uh, mechanical wristwatch. Yes, still, 100% but mechanical. But still has some, let's say, not miracle functions, but some really, how, you, how would you say, helpful functions? Yeah, augmented uh, experience, okay. uh, I could call it. Augmented experience. <laughs> yes. Not augmented reality, <laughs> no, but uh, augmented uh, experience. Because, you know why? Uh, because we design watches for my generation. Yes. I design them for myself. Yeah. I don't design them for my grandfather. That's okay. All right? Yeah. So my generation, or the digital native generation, Yeah. They want experience yeah. instead of polished, polished gears. I think. Okay. That's my that's my no, understanding that's, of the thing. That's a clear approach. Everybody, there are so many others, so we do something different. Yeah, I just had, uh, by the way, some people from Swatch Group out there. They know me, and we. They asked me, "Oh, what did you see, Alexander?" And then, and, I said, and then, and we said, "Yeah, what? Whom do you like in here?" And the guy mentioned the first. I like Ressence. Good. Just happened. Nice. So they have an eye on you. Yes. Be careful. <laughs> they will come with a big check and say, okay, what's the price? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Um, please. Type 2. Type 2. Type 2 is a, um, is a, so as I said, a mechanical watch. It's purely mechanical. Um, it has an automatic movement inside. It's, uh, it has a regular power reserve, 36 hours. And we have added... Uh, uh, something extra so you can still you can do anything you do on our all our watches you can set it manually you can make it work manually you can or mechanically purely mechanically but we also added what we called the what we have called the e-crown this is a technology that we introduced last year on our concept uh, where we discussed uh, by the way yeah? um, and now it's it's final version so this is the production version of the watch e-crown is an electronic crown. What does that mean? It is, a, it is an automated crown function. A crown does two things. It sets the watch and it winds the watch. Well, e-crown will never wind the watch, but because you need too much energy to do that. But it's, it's intelligent in that sense that when you wear the watch, as it is an automatic movement, it will wind automatically. But if you take it off at night, and you don't wear it back, within 12 hours, the watch will stop the movement so that you keep the power reserve in the watch. Secondly, a crown is meant to set the time. Well, this watch, you don't ever need to set it once you've done it once. Because UTC time is also inside the watch. And so it has two time zones that are calculating the time for their time zone inside the watch compared to the UTC time. And so when you put it back on the wrist after a week, you strap it on, you double tap the glass, and the watch will set itself automatically and will start to run again. So there is a, a chip inside? or it's a, a, it's a little more than a chip. Yeah, uh, but some chips? It's a, a little very complex uh, small electronic chip, uh, yes yeah <laughs> electronic electronic uh, components module, module that we yeah developed. module yes. components yeah. that will know what time it is yes. and by tapping okay show show us the yes. whole thing so now the watch uh, is on you ready the cameraman is it in okay great so you have uh, minutes hours and seconds so the seconds are just running normally and the watch is not running normally as a mechanical watch. And here there is a small indicator. It's maybe too small for the camera, but I'll, I'll explain it. It's, there are four positions and two of them are the two automated time zones. There is one where you can put a ecran off so it becomes a normal uh, mechanical watch again. And uh, there is another one that is the Bluetooth mode. So you can learn time to the watch by setting it and then confirming 
and the watch will register that digitally what you did manually it will register it digitally or you can say I use an application that we developed eCrown application and with the application you can send cities for the two time zones into the watch meaning you don't need the application anymore afterwards. are you communicating by Bluetooth or yes. NFC it's a Bluetooth file. where does the watch take the energy for the NFC it takes it from uh, for the Bluetooth sorry yeah it takes it from the photovoltaic cells okay so these these were also developed on purpose for this watch okay uh, we worked with a, a spin-off of shark in Japan to do that um, and we have two actually we have a, a major one the the, 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 the the master I would say and then there is a small one under the underneath these little shutters and they will open when the watch when the battery is a bit low Normally it doesn't happen, but on the show here we use them all the time. So okay. sometimes they they open, they say, "Let's please give me some some more light," and it's dark here all the day. So let us uh, go. Let us introduce the watch. I will now wake the uh, Ecron because Ecron is always sleeping. Good to morning. Save energy. Good morning. Um, good morning, <laughs> Ecron. You double tap it. It shakes just to say, "Okay, I yes. received the information." It's now checking the position of the hands compared to the digital time and will reset the, the, the hands exactly to the right time. So it's uh, 5 to 2. 5 to 1. On this watch. It yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Time zone. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. But, but the, the time is correct. It's 5, uh, we are actually having it's, uh, yeah, tw 5 to 1. Sorry, 5, five to, to 1. No. Yes. Oh. Okay. I wished it was already 2 o'clock probably. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 12.45 okay, so and it's yeah. almost 12.55 and that's correct. Yes. I just looked at my iPhone, that's correct. Yeah. And you can do the same for the other times. Yeah. It's the same principle. Okay. So how do you go through the menu? You double tap like that. You tap once. You tap twice. Again. And so you can change the different, the different positions in the watch. This is the way you will so uh, if you through. if you have set your second zone time uh, yes. and then you will tap on it and the watch will automatically change and can you learn the watch through the iPhone uh, which uh, city you're in or which uh, time zone actually the, ta the, the city is registered inside the watch ah, you just need to define yes you have to define it once you set it with the phone it knows the city okay if you change it manually it yeah. will not remember it it will send back to the phone it yeah. was manually set okay all right but we will do that now yeah right? so we will go now to the bluetooth mode we double tap and we go one step further and we can start the bluetooth mode for this watch so now the watch is pairing it says I'm on Paris time, that's the time, and actually it received this information from the watch. Wow. Yes. And now we can change, well, we can choose, for example, the second time zone has been set manually, so it says time zone 2. It's a time that is not a UTC ver uh, reference. Anyway, the first one was still on Paris. And you can say, okay, you can choose the city, you can put it on favorites like home, or you can take the GPS from the phone to know where you are and it will take it over. Here we have some pre recent ones, so I'll take London. I send it to the watch, and when I send it to the watch, the watch says, okay, I received it. I can also do that for the second time zone, like saying, okay, uh, Madrid, go, and this is now received Madrid time for the second time zone. Time zone one is our reference time, because we have activated it, we can then disconnect it. Now it's the time, uh, the watch is the watch is disconnected from the application, and the watch is now setting the time to uh, to uh, London time. Wow! Now it's set. It's now it's running mechanically again. Okay, uh, Beno, why did the little shutters open up when it was uh, coming because, back? Because they open mechanically. Yeah. And so they are dependent on the movement of the of the dial. So when the dial go backwards. They open uh -huh. when the go uh, dial go forwards. They close. Ah, this is the reason. Yes. Okay, I see. Yeah. And so it went backwards because we went to London times a bit earlier. Yeah. So it's it's turning backwards. That's the reason. Very nice, smart. It's kind of a smartwatch. You don't. I don't know. It's the, a watch that is smart. 
Yes. It's not the same. Yes, that's not the same. That's a mechanical risk, but a mechanical risk watch being very smart. A question that is for sure um, uh, asked by, by our audience is, yep. if you are using the watch on a regular basis uh, with the little cells uh, you have here, it's charging enough to be... You never, you never have to do it. You, you never have to charge it. You, you, know, you don't have to... You don't. The watch comes with a little charger. Of course, you have to, to plug it. Ah, okay, you and could. You, you place it for a night and it's fully charged. Okay, but uh, unless you are not having your charger with you, you could easily... Uh, it's still a mechanical watch. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. You will just have to do it yourself. By okay. Hand, but it's really exceptional. I think it will never happen. But Fantastic. Very nice. Type 2. 38 grams. Yeah, Four. it's ultra light, I know. And I don't feel it even, but it fits perfectly on my wrist, looks good. Yeah. Wow. It has 479 components. 479 components, wow. Very this complex is. product. <laughs> Incredible. It's Incredible. very thin, very light, yeah. so um, I think it's high-end fine watchmaking, but In with it, extra, yeah. extra functions. Is it not a limited series? No, it's not it's, a, it's a it's not the kind type, of a type one, experimental. Type two, type three, type five, we'll go into the collections. Main, be main, there. Main collection. Main collection. Yes. Okay. And you deliver? I think some somewhere in May we will start the wow. delivery. But we have already orders from last year, so we will first deliver them, yeah, yeah, and okay. then the rest will follow. Great. And uh, as many also might use uh, not an iPhone but an, an Android. Both, Android, both, you have both, both worlds. Both works. Yeah, and uh, you can also download it even if you don't have the watch because there's a tutorial in it. So yeah. you can you can see all the things well anyway. Oh. You can also open the shutters manually with with. Uh, there are some gadgets, but it's nice. You can yeah, you can have you can have. Uh, you can also stop stop the watch manually or yeah. with, with the phone. You can say okay, stop it now. Instead of waiting 12 hours, you can just stop and then it stops the movement. So if you're out with a beautiful girl, you can say, hey, yeah. oh. she's having an eye on you and you will click, 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 click. The watch will blink then. <laughs> ah, Good. Benoit, there we this are. was nice. Thank you very much. I welcome you and thank I, you for coming. Congratulations to yeah. a really nice, I wouldn't call it gadget. That's a, no, it's not no, a gadget. It's, Absolutely not. That's, uh, that's no. a really... It's brain, a lot of brains, and it's 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 fitting into the mechanical world of what we're talking here, yeah. and it's adding uh, it's adding intelligence and smart functionality, smart functionality yes. on top. Very nice. Thank you, Benoit. Congratulations. Thank you. Resons, um, a brand you should have an eye on if you are into watches that don't look as all the others, like this one. Just zoom in quickly, or can hold it here. Discs. Type five. Type five. Diver watch only mechanical diver watch readable on the water. Yeah, because it's filled with a liquid and if you go on on a very deep a angle on the die, you will still You can still read it, it's no yeah. mirror. No mirror. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. And of course, use the comment section here underneath and I'm more than happy to answer your questions. But please, guys, give me some time. I'm on the SAHH and I need some time to go over the comments. And I will go back to you just like when I come home on the weekend. Bye-bye.